Today I'd like to talk about the importance of maintaining some degree of flexibility of spending throughout retirement. There are basically two approaches. There's a static approach and a dynamic approach. One example of a static approach is the 4% rule of thumb. The 4% rule says that you can take 4% of your portfolio value in the first year of retirement and then inflate that number each year thereafter and never run out of money. The 4% rule was developed by researchers who went back to the late 1800s and looked at every rolling 30-year period from that time. And they identified the withdrawal amount that could have been sustained without running out of money before the 30-year period was up. So the 4% rule uh, held up through the Great Depression and World War I and World War II and the stagflationary 70s and the dot-com bubble and the great financial crisis most recently. So there are advantages and disadvantages to the 4% rule. One advantage is that it's very easy to just quickly calculate how much you can withdraw from a given portfolio. Or conversely, how big a portfolio would need to be to sustain your current lifestyle. Right? It's a quick back of the napkin calculation so you can get at least a rough idea of what you can withdraw from your portfolio, which is helpful. One downside to the 4% rule is that it's the most conservative spending figure for the last 150 years. So the implication is that for most people in most periods of time, the 4% rule is going to result in a portfolio value that is much larger than was planned for or perhaps even desired at the end of the 30-year period. So what that means is uh, most people are going to be sacrificing lifestyle or some other financial goals unnecessarily as a result of being so extremely conservative with the spending amount. Now, not everyone cares about material things. They don't necessarily all want bigger houses or a vacation home or nicer cars or nicer clothes or whatever it might be, but some people want that stuff. But even if you don't, you may want to gift more money to your family or you may want to gift more money to charity. There, just, there may be some things that you would do if you weren't being so conservative with the spending amount, right? And so the 4% rule is going to sacrifice many of those things for most people in most periods of time. That's why the flexible, more dynamic approach is oftentimes more advantageous for most people. And that's what I incorporate into my practice with my clients. So let's walk through what I call the retirement spending guardrails that I prepare for clients.